In this video, we are going to talk about comparing functions y-intercepts. On example one, it says which function has a greater y-intercept? Explain. So we have f of x equals 2x plus 5. This is a linear function. I know that because it is of the form y equals mx plus b. We learned back in unit two that b is the y-intercept of an equation written in slope-intercept form. So if f of x equals 2x plus 5 is in slope-intercept form, then my y-intercept, b, is at 5. And so that would be the point 0, 5. If you weren't sure, you could pull up Desmos. And if we go to that graphing calculator, maybe. There we go. And you could type in 2x plus 5 in Desmos, and you could click right on that y-intercept, 0, 5. For g of x, we are given a graph. And I can tell that this graph is exponential because I have an exponential growth curve. Our y-intercept is where our graph crosses our y-axis. And so that is happening at this point right here this is the point 0, 1. And we want to know which one has a greater y-intercept. So which one is greater, 5 or 1? 5 is greater. So f of x has a greater y-intercept because... 5 is greater than 1. Let's look at example 2. On example 2, it says, which function has a smaller y-intercept? Explain. On uh, h of x, we're given a graph. This is a graph of a parabola. I know that because it has that u shape. And my y-intercept is going to be where my parabola crosses my y-axis. That is happening at this point right here. And this is at the point, let's see, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the point 0, 4. For m of x, we are given a table of values. Your y-intercept will always occur where x is 0. So that is happening right here at the point 0, 8. We want to know which function has a smaller y-intercept. So which one is smaller, 4 or 8? 4. So h of x has a smaller y-intercept because 4 is less than 8. And then if we look at example 3, it says which function has a greater y-intercept? Explain. For p of x, we are given a table of values, and we know that in a table of values, your y-intercept will always be where x is 0, and that's this equation right here, or this um, row right here. So my y-intercept is at the point 0, negative 1. For b of x, we have b of x equals negative x squared plus 3. This is a quadratic equation. I know that this is quadratic because my highest exponent is 2. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and type this equation into Desmos. So I'm going to have negative x squared plus 3. And that y-intercept is right here at the point 0, 3. We want to know which of these functions, p of x or b of x, has a greater y-intercept. So which is greater, negative 1 or positive 3? Positive 3. So b of x has a greater y-intercept 
because 3 is greater than negative 1.